Hello everyone, and welcome to my custom track patch tutorial, which is what you see if you're looking at kind of the tutorial ambient background right now. So I'm going to split this into steps the same way I did it with the custom car tutorial, because that seemed to be easy to follow and understand. Um, and let's just dive right in. So in order to get this custom track mod working, you have to apply a patch to your resources folder. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download a patch tool. Now this tool is just useful for modifying files. It might seem a little bit sketchy, but it's just really an old port of some Linux utilities. I have linked it in the description below. Just go ahead and click on the link right at the end of step one. All right, step two is to download the track patch. Now that's right on the Google Drive. Some of you may have seen it if you were going in to grab new custom cars. It's just labeled track.patch. Go ahead and download that and import it right into your distance data directory, right in where your distance game is. All right, um, this isn't super important, but I would do it just in case. Your resources.assets folder in your distance data directory, it's a one gigabyte size file, but what you want to do is copy and paste it directly in that directory. So you've got a resources parentheses copy file just hanging around in case anything goes wrong. All right, step four is where it gets a little bit technical, but if you follow the commands properly, then it shouldn't be too difficult. If you've put the patch in your distance data directory and made a backup, all you need to do is open an admin command prompt, which means CMD and then control shift enter and or right click on it and then hit run as administrator. Once you've done that, paste the command lines one, two, and three, one at a time, into the command line, and if everything was set up correctly, then you should be good to go. Step five, start your game. If the patch has been applied, then you will see your game track texture changed. If the patch was not applied successfully, your game will crash and or everything will be normal. If you want to revert back to the old track textures, just rename your resources.assets file something like modded underscore resources or mresources or anything other than resources.assets and then rename your copy to resources.assets. This way, when the game loads, it will find the unmodded file instead of the modded one. You can rename them to switch it out pretty much however many times you like. Lastly, I just want to give out a huge thanks to Zabuza for showing me how to modify the distance resources assets file and for giving me his track texture. This would not have been possible without him. So if you're watching this, thank you very much.